There are many Active Directory tools on a domain controller on a Windows server, and one of those tools is going to be Active Directory Domains and Trusts. There's not a lot of features in this particular utility. However, the ones that are here are very important. So here we see the Domains and Trusts, and then we see the name of our domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the Domains and Trusts at the top, and here we can do things like raise the forest functional level. When we do that, it adds additional features and functionality for the entire Active Directory forest. Now we can see that it's only going up to Windows Server 2016, even though this server is newer than that. We have the same thing when it comes to the domain level. So this was the forest level here. Now we're at the domain level. I can right click and choose to raise the domain functional level. Once again, it will only go as high as 2016. And if you have 2016, 2019, or 2022, it doesn't matter. It's only going to go as high as 2016. However, if you see the setting at 2012 R2 or older and all your DCs are 2016 or newer, you can upgrade them by using this feature. By upgrading, you not only get additional features and functionality, but you also get additional options with group policy that you wouldn't otherwise see. Microsoft stopped upgrading the functional levels beyond 2016 after 2016 server came out, but we're not exactly sure why. It could be because they are trying to get users and organizations to move to Azure Active Directory domain services, but we can still continue using on-premises for as long as we like. Now, if we right click once again, we can see some other options such as manage. When we choose that, it automatically opens up Active Directory users and computers, which you can also get to from the server manager tools menu. If I right click on the domains and trusts at the top, then we have the option to change forest. So if we have more than one forest, we can change that forest. We can change to a different domain controller as well. We can also go into operations masters. And here we see that the operation master is set to DCO2. If we'd like to, we can change that to DCO1. When I right click again, it allows me to go into properties. This is rarely used, but it allows us to add alternative domain names. And that way we can log on using other domain names that may be easier to get to. So for instance, if you have a really long domain name, then it may take a long time for users to log in. So you could type in a shorter domain name here, and then users can use that domain name to log in rather than the super long one. Besides being able to manage and upgrade the domain and forest using Active Directory Domains and Trusts, I can also use it to create a trust. So if I right click on the domain and go to Properties, I can click on Trusts. And now I'm ready to create that trust. So I'll click Next. Now I'll put in the name. And this will be the name of the domain and click Next. Now I have the option for a Realm Trust or Trust with a Windows Domain. Now, unfortunately, the Trust with Windows Domains rarely work. So the Realm Trust is really the way to go, and it also will work with other non-Active Directory domain controllers as well. So I'll click Next. Now we have the option for Transitive or Non-Transitive. And this has to do with the relationship if you have a child domain. So a transitive trust is going to be a two-way relationship, and it's going to be created between the parent and child domains in the Active Directory forest. In our case, we don't have any child domains, so I'll just choose non-transitive. And we can choose a two-way trust or a one-way. I'm going to choose the two-way. And now we need to have a trust password that's going to be set up on both sides. I've typed in the password and the confirmation password. Click Next and Complete. Now we must do the same exact thing on the other side as well. And then what we can do is we can set up shared folders and we can add in objects such as groups and users from one domain into the other. So that way users from both sides can get access to both types of shared folders regardless of which domain they're on. Active Directory Domains and Forests may not have a lot of things to configure, but it does provide a valuable service to domain administrators.